data encapsulation very important term especially interview point of view so what is the data encapsulates it's that that terms will be regularly uh, discussed over the period of time the so message message segmentation the message segmentation so what is the segmentation breaking the communication into a pieces that is called segmentation you know the layer layer 4 for example transport layer it make is a message is too big they segment that is small pieces they chop them into small pieces sender will chop them and then the receiver will resegment them again into the order they are receiving it okay so the message segmentation and also what is the then the multiplexing mean interleaving the pieces as they traverse the network multiple communications are interleaving giving each user a part of the same bandwidth so basically the the different messages different users are working their mess are you know directly over maybe the same wire okay and then multi multiple communications are uh, giving each user a part of the bandwidth same bandwidth right part of the bandwidth that's called multiplexing now message segmentation communication the message so you can see uh multiple i say price uh, pieces are labeled for each direction and reassembly so you can see the user from from the down user is representing a green message and the uh, upper user has an orange one so this is the communication of the message right so whatever it's happening labeling provides the order and reassembly why we are doing the labeling so once it is received by the receiver they will reassemble the packet in the order they are receiving okay three times it is by the sender it has some kind of message um, uh, label on top of it and sending to the uh, receiver side so communication the message segmentation message allow many different conversation to be interleaved increase the aspect efficiency of the network communication add com uh, complexity so what is the pdu now this is this is actually we discussing now what is encapsulation so basically when the message is coming from the top to bottom actually so for example data at the application so email data it received okay then it called segment then the packet then the frame then the bits every layer when the message is coming from top to bottom layer every layer adds its own header okay that is called encapsulation basically every layer add its own information okay so for example that's the data and on top of it is a transport header then at the at the transport header network header at the frame we see there is a data transport data network header and frame header and trailer header mean the message is going to start and trailer is the message is going to end and then at the bits level when it's transmitted through the wire that wire just has signal either 0 or 1 because the network devices or end host devices they only understand the 0 and 1 they do not understand any data okay so you can see this network definition we discussed in the in the past and at the start that network is actually uh, in order to communicate to two or more devices connecting through physical media and uh, you know uh, we share the data and we so we can share the data that is the networking term here in detail through the through the osi model through the tcp model further we are discussing how that communication is happening from end to end so basically that's that is the called encapsulation data segment packet and frames and bits on the other side encapsulation example you can see here then there is a data tcp ip and ethernet and we are transmitting from there and the encapsulation what is happening so in other terms you can see there is a message comes in let's say there is an envelope for example if you go to fedex okay in the fedex what they do let's say you want to send a message or any important uh, documents to someone you have your own in message you know documents plus your own envelope then they put their own envelope am i right they put their own envelope they put the right use your source and destination as well and they send it so the guy who is going to receive that he will tear the fedex envelope first then your envelope and then he will read the same message so encapsulation mean the headers or envelopes you are going to insert on the top of the message and then deencapsulation mean the same receiver side 
will take the header one by one and finally the message is going to be received by the actual message because keep in mind the actual message is maybe hello how are you okay then we transmit it through the media it goes to the upper layer to the down layer every layer add the header and then the subsequent layer they are receiving on the other side and they are removing it here you can see that's interesting so you can see every layer data and then each layer add its own header represented by these these upper encapsulation is one side and on the receiver side the encapsulation so keep in mind encapsulation are done by done by the sender and de encapsulation is done by the receiver important term is that clear okay so basically the application process 1 and application process 2 you can see the data is coming that's the initial message so this guy who is a receiver he should receive this actual message if he is received anything else like any other header he may not be understand and he may be able to discard it 